A Central Texas congressman wants to see changes to a major drug pricing bill. Democratic Representative Lloyd Doggett is circulating a letter calling for, quote, necessary improvements to Speaker Nancy Pelosi's signature legislation on the topic. Among the changes he wants to see, allowing talks for lowering all drug prices rather than setting a limit as the bill currently does. There has been tension for months as progressives like Doggett have pushed Pelosi to go further in lowering drug prices in the bill. We caught up with the congressman earlier today to discuss this and spoke with him about the impeachment inquiry. Congressman Doggett, welcome back to the program. So good to be with you. Thanks for being here. Uh, I wanted to start with this letter um, about necessary improvements to the drug pricing bill that was just mentioned. But what do you think, what all do you think needs to be improved that would get you more on board with this? Well, prescription drug price uh, gouging is rampant. I hear about uh, people who have to reduce their insulin supply to endanger their life to cancer patients to EpiPen mothers, uh, all of them. And I think that we need to be looking at all types of drugs. Uh, if under the proposal the speaker has made to date, uh, you could satisfy the bill by only looking at 25 per year. Well, there are more than 25 new drugs that come into the market almost every year. I'm also concerned about the launch prices. If a manufacturer can set a price in the millions, as some are now doing for specialty treatments, uh, we need to look at those prices from the outset, not two or three years after they have managed to rake in billions. And there are a host of other issues. I do want to build on what she has proposed. Sure. There's some good features of it, but we have a responsibility uh, to meet the needs of all consumers who rely on pharmaceuticals. Um, have you spoken with Speaker Pelosi since sending this letter? Yes, I've uh, spoken on a conference call yesterday with our caucus. Uh, and she continues to express some interest in improvements. There's a little resistance, perhaps a pride of authorship from some of the staff members that have been involved. Uh, I hope that we can get most of this. I just want to be sure, not that we let the perfect get in the way of the good, but that we're really providing good to the people that we serve. And the bill as written now just does not do enough. And I mean, as you say that, and as a leader among the progressive House Democrats, uh, your position is kind of key on this and could be for some of them in how they vote on this. As it stands now, would you vote for the current bill? Well, I'm not ready to commit to vote for it. We were asked to co-sponsor that bill, and I said I'd be willing to co-sponsor it after it gets some of these improvements in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think there is a need for improvement. We, just doing 25 drugs a year, and having some of the other shortcomings of the bill does not fulfill our promise, but I remain hopeful that the Speaker will accept some of the changes that I've advanced. Um, Speaker Pelosi is hoping for the President's support on this. How do you see that playing out, especially, and we'll get into more of this, but yeah. just amid the impeachment inquiry? Well, I don't see it playing out. He rejected that notion almost the day that this inquiry was made. And of course, President Trump will be in Florida tonight talking about uh, Medicare. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that he will have just another meaningless executive order. I asked him to do an executive order over a year ago, along with about 50 of my colleagues, because I am appalled at how much taxpayer money goes in to pay for the research and development for new drugs, and then there's no restraint on the price, so that many of the taxpayers that finance these drugs cannot afford to access them. Uh, the president could do something about that with a stroke of a pen. Instead, I think we get meaningless action from him when we need real help on these issues. And nor does his uh, proposal, as I understand it, cover the expansion of Medicare to be more comprehensive to include hearing aids, glasses, and dental care. I have legislation on that as well as the chair of the Health Subcommittee. Have you spoken with him on, on those issues at I all? I have not. Uh, and I uh, feel very strongly that we're to a point now with his abuse of power that it is time for the House to move forward with impeachment. Uh, 